It's a familiar story that many of us know all too well. Strange comet approaching Earth. We humans divert its path only to have it crash land into the moon, unleashing unlimited waves of alien invaders attacking us in a two-dimensional horizontal plane. Complete with ant bosses. Dead. Moon. The adventure starts on the planet Earth, of course. Dead Moon is a 1991 release for the TurboGrafx-16, available as a download for the Nintendo Wii Virtual Console. That's the version that I'm reviewing here. Dead Moon is a traditional old-school horizontal-style spaceship shooter. It doesn't do much to separate itself from the mass of other side-scrolling shooters from the early 90s. In fact, when you compare this to some other games from the era like the Thunder Force series and Gradius, it's pretty bland. But it does pack a serious challenge, because as you play through this game it gets extremely fast, and enemies are attacking you from pretty much every direction. So while Dead Moon does not pack much in the way of style, it does have a uh, pterodactyl skeleton-like thing shooting at you. Dead Moon's strength is its extreme speed and difficulty, even if it doesn't look like it at first. Dead Moon is not easy because of the speed at which it moves. It's a very fast and frantic game. Just when you think you figured out the enemy attack patterns coming from the right of the screen, then they start attacking you from the left of the screen. Those, those wily alien invaders. What will they think of next? Attacking in a three-dimensional space? Never! As you see on screen, you can collect weapon power-ups and upgrade them about three or four times, which allows you to take a hit and knock the weapon strength back one notch and prevents you from being destroyed until your weapon reaches its base level, and then you are left extremely vulnerable. So it's one of these games where you just don't want to lose any lives. Because you can't afford to go back to the base weapon strength. Each time you play Dead Moon, it's pretty much the same. The aliens do not change their game plan. With some memorization and repeat gameplay, you'll figure it out eventually. One of the challenges is in uh, keeping your favorite weapon upgraded. I found the green Darius-like laser thing and the red spread shot to be the most effective and would accidentally run into things when trying to avoid other power-ups. Don't forget you can also collect those things that spin around your ship for defense and some missiles. There is a lot of blinking on screen every time you pick up a power-up your ship blinks which causes interlacing that uh, can make it look like the ship disappears here by the time this video makes its way to your computer monitor. Ah yes, the dreaded giant space turtle that shoots fireballs. Once you get past this guy, the next level is where the game really picks up speed. And it just gets harder from there. Dead Moon is a very affordable download from the Wii Virtual Console. I'm playing this with the Classic Controller Pro, which makes me a professional Dead Moon player. Pro. This is one of the games I actually played while reviewing the Classic Controller Pro which I will highly recommend for the arcade games, old school classics, and spaceship shooters on the Nintendo Wii. The ground effects in this level are actually pretty nice, and I've only memorized up to about this point, so I'm going to be surprised here by the enemies approaching me from the left of the screen. Dead Moon doesn't do much to really stand out from the crowd, that's really its only major weakness. Dead Moon has some serious, serious competitors. Even if this game does have a giant flying sea turtle. Can't go wrong with that. It's a super affordable download from the Virtual Console, and you can also find this for the TurboGrafx-16. But I find that many of these old-school TurboGrafx games are best played on the Virtual Console, because the audio and video is far better from the Wii than it is on the actual TurboGrafx-16.
Ah, that was stupid. When will I learn? I've got some attack patterns to memorize, but you can affordably and easily download Dead Moon from the Virtual Console. Or steal your friend's old TurboGrafx-16 copy. Give them a copy of E.T. on the Atari. Say it's a fair trade. It's not, but maybe they'll believe you. If your friends are gullible.